start with 24. So we've ended up with 16 because I've eaten eight of them. <laughs> so what you want to do is very simply just take a little, about a teaspoon amount, a walnut sized amount, and just place it onto the middle of the bellini, slightly pushing it out, not quite to the sides, just enough to keep it in place in the middle. And if you wish, if you like an extra zing, you could mix your Philadelphia with a bit of lemon juice or maybe some pepper or some chili spice. Cayenne pepper would be lovely. But um, I like to keep mine plain because I feel that you get plenty of flavour coming from your salmon. Or in this case, I've chosen smoked trout. Where's my phone? <laughs> so, like I say, just work your way along very carefully. And as long as your fingers are clean, it doesn't matter that you're using your pinky. But, um, so, there we are, just carefully. And not too much because it, it is just an aperitif or an amuse bouche that you just want to pop into your mouth. Just a bite, one mouthful, that's all you need. There we are, almost there. And the last one. In fact, no, I think I'll give that one just a little bit more. You want to keep them even, you know, because it is, it's all about the presentation. So when you're throwing a dinner party, you want your guests to come into your room and just, oh, wow. Yeah, so that, that's what we're looking for. So just give your finger a quick wipe. Now, onto the smoked trout. Not everybody has smoked trout, so a bit of salmon would be okay. I think there's more flavour in trout. So I go with the trout. Now, if you open your pocket in the right direction, what I tend to do is lift it up before I open it and you can see the way they've laid it on. So you want the last layer to be your first layer and then when you're peeling it off, it comes off easier. You'll, you'll see what I mean as I go along. So with your knife, that's it, just gently lift it up like that. You just want to prise it off. There we are. And it should be very thinly sliced. Now, you don't want the whole slice for one bellini. So just with a sharp knife, be careful of your fingers. Cut down the middle there. Now, before you take it off, start to roll your salmon in a diagonal. Trout or salmon. <laughs> Thank you. Start to roll it in a clockwise Diagonal direction, not clockwise. Of course, the wine also is optional. <laughs> it sometimes helps not to have so much wine. And then just lay your roll on top of the bellini like so. And on you go with the other 15. <laughs> of course, if you have children, now is usually a good time to bring them into the kitchen while you try some of your wine. And... Uh, Maybe encourage your children to help you. <laughs> look at that child's face. She doesn't look best impressed. No. Pammy. Now, if you think that some of your pieces of trout are bigger than the other, well, they probably are. So <laughs> it doesn't really matter. You know, your guests won't mind. And after we'll all... We'll just pick the best ones out first. Yeah, well, you know, we would all like to be Mary, be Mary Berry, but we can't be perfect, so... That's it. And just... <laughs> there we are. Keep rolling them up. <clears throat> nice and neat. That's it. We're getting there. Oh, this is a large chappy, isn't he? In fact, I think I might cut him in half. Because trout is, is very expensive. And, well, some of your guests that you've invited, you have just invited them because, well... You had to, so you don't really want to throw all your money away on them, but you know. So, um, oh, sorry, my little helper seems to be in the way again. But oh, hello! <laughs> <laughs> How are we today? Glad that you could all join me in Hell's Kitchen. There we are. So, just in case you, you didn't catch the beginning of the oh. show, we're making <laughs> smoked trout bellinis. 
There we are. So, like I say, I've just explained about the filling and everything, and we're just in the process of rolling the trout very carefully. <laughs> and obviously, when you're using sharp equipment, if you have children present, <laughs> you know, encourage them to use it as often as <laughs> possible. <laughs> There we are. So what do you think of our Bellini Zyla? Are they, are they nice? Yuck. Would you, would you like to try one? Yuck. What do you mean, yuck? Yuck. Salmon is the food of the connoisseur. That was trout. Yuck. Well, it is. Yuck. I yuck. Think trout isn't the food of the connoisseur. Yuck. Thank you for uh, interrupting me there. Katrina, I was just about to say salmon is the food of the connoisseur, but if you can't afford salmon, Trout yep. will suffice. Yup, yup, yup. Yes, that. Yep. Thank you. Yes. Yup, <laughs> yup. Yes. Yep. 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 I love yep. that. Okay. Ayla, would you like to go into the pantry and fetch me something? What? I don't know. Just, <laughs> just go into the pantry and fetch me something. Go into the pantry and fetch me something. What? Please. No. Now, where are we? Four left to go. There we are. Let's get this hurried along here. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Hurry along. Yuck, yuck. That's it. Number one. Oh, I think we're going to have plenty of this beautiful trout left. As you can hear in the background, the dog cannot wait for his supper tonight. Yes. Two. Now, as an extra garnish, um, I mean, as you can see, it doesn't need it. But if you had a little piece of dill, excellent. But I'm going to share a huge secret with you that you might not know about dill. What does dill look like? What does it remind us of? Yes, yes, it looks like grass. There's something else at this time of year that dill resembles. Long, sharp, green, spiky. Fire needles. High needles. High needles, yes. So as you're all aware, at this time of year, we all have a Christmas tree in the house, don't we? So just pop yourself over to your Christmas tree, cut a little bit off, and there you are. But I shan't, because I think some of my guests are allergic to pine, so I won't be using that. Now, quick rinse off the fingers. So, it's a bit bland, so we need a bit of colour. So into the pantry we go. And find... there for not stocking up the plant plenty. Parsley. From a height. There's no good being down here. This would just come out in clumps and it would take you all day. From a height. Like snowflakes. <laughs> It'll come. There we are. Sprinkle, sprinkle, sprinkle. Tis the season to be jolly. Tra -la 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 -la. And there we are, Bellinis with Philadelphia and smoked trout, a la palm. So we pop this over to the guest table. And, yeah. and on with dish number three. But time has just averted us and I'm afraid that we're all out of it. But do join me for the next inspirational episode of Cooking with Pam in Hell's Kitchen. <laughs>